So I got some more organic sugar. Um, this is different than the Demura sugar. It is just pure organic cane sugar. So this is a little better for baking and stuff like that because Demura sugar can be kind of like larger chunks. So this is a good, more all-purpose kind of flour, and it's from that brand Full Circle that I mentioned before. And as you see there, it's got the organic symbol on there, so you know it is without bone char and it is vegan. I got some bulgur wheat, which is just a different kind of like whole grain to use instead of like pasta or white rice or something. It's got a little bit more nutrition in it. Um, this isn't gluten free, it is a wheat product. So if that bothers you, then don't try this, but um, I'm going to make some kind of, it's called tableau, or tab tableau, or it's however you pronounce that. Um, I'm going to make something like that this week. So I just thought I would try out a different new kind of grain, and I'll let you know how I like it. Got to keep things interesting. I love that kombucha stuff that I tried last week. Um, it, it actually is doing the same thing as the apple cider vinegar did. Um, it tastes similar to the apple cider vinegar, but it's more of like an apple cider beer kind of flavor. Like it's not as harsh or acidic. So I really like that about it. Um, and I got the cranberry kind last week. I'm trying the green one this week. And yeah, I just drink about four ounces a day. So it, it lasts me about four days or about all week until I go grocery shopping again. Probably even skip a day. Kombucha stuff, like I don't, I'm not a doctor, I can't really tell you if it's like a miracle thing like some people say it is, but um, the idea of detoxing your body um, and regulating your di di digestive system um, is a really smart thing to do if you're having problems. Um, and it kind of just gets your metabolism jump started, so I just drink this like to start off the day and it just, it keeps, it kind of makes me feel more energetic, I don't know, um, I think it just helps my digestion because of the, the probiotics in here, so if you're having problems like that, like you're feeling sluggish or want to boost your diet or your metabolism, try this stuff, um, I heard you can make your own, but like you have to be really careful that it's sanitary and you don't get sick from it, so I'm probably just going to buy, <laughs> buy mine for now, but um, I would highly recommend you guys try this stuff out. I think it would help you. Um, I'm liking it a lot more than the apple cider vinegar. It's way less harsh than that. It tastes a lot better and it doesn't leave a weird burning feeling after you drink it. It would probably still detoxify you, um, but yeah, I just really think this stuff is really good. And it is the GT's Organic Raw Kombucha, if you want to try that out. I got some young coconut juice, which is just coconut juice. It's got pulp in there. Um, the only ingredients are young coconut juice water, natural cane sugar, and young coconut pulp. So I thought that'd be kind of an interesting drink. It was like in the Asian section of my grocery store. I got some more agave nectar. I thought I would try like the more, I thought I would try the less processed kind, like the darker kind. I heard that that's a little bit better for you than the really processed light agave nectar. So it was on sale this week too, so I thought I'd pick it up. And it is the Madhava Agave Nectar. I heard this is kind of the best brand of agave you can buy, so I thought I would try it. And it's got the organic symbol on there as well. I got some more granola this week. I'm trying a different kind that they had. Um, it is Granola Flax Plus Pumpkin Organic. So it's got organic rolled oats, organic evaporated cane juice, organic soy oil, oil organic brown rice flour, organic pumpkin seeds, organic flax seeds, organic oat syrup solids, sea salt, organic molasses, organic rice bran extract, or, and organic cinnamon. So it is, again, a vegan product. It doesn't have any honey in it or anything. And it's made of really good organic ingredients. And I, I was really interested in the pumpkin seeds and the flax mixed in there. Um, the flax, flax seeds are really good for omega-3s, which is good for your brain health. So I thought that was kind of a neat little mix, and I like pumpkin seeds a lot for protein. So I got some more um, tamari, really good. I really enjoyed this particular brand. It's a bit smoother tasting than soy sauce, um, and it doesn't have any um, gluten in it. So this is good for people with gluten allergies. I got a big bag of organic long grain brown rice because that's healthier for you. It's a little bit more expensive. I think this was like $3.29, but again. Um, it's a really good deal for being organic rice. 
and of course this is going to last us a long time because it's a big bag it is it's a two pound bag of rice so it's going to last us a while i got some more red lentils when you cook these up they don't stay that kind of orangey red color they turn more of like a light orange brown so just keep that in mind when you buy these but they cook up a lot quicker than the brown lentils so they're good for throwing in soups and stuff when you don't have a lot of time um, you can make lentil burgers. You can do all kinds of things with lentils. Um, they're just a nice change of pace from beans sometimes. Do you get tired of beans being your protein? I got some sweet potatoes. Some of them fell out in my bag. But sweet potatoes are very good for you. They have beta carotenes and then vitamin A, I believe. Uh, vitamin C since they're the orangey color. Um, so they're much better for you than just normal potatoes. And I love them. They taste really good. You don't need to put a bunch of butter and sugar in them either. Just cook them straight and you know you don't even have to put any kind of butter on them they're just really good as they are I got some chamomile tea because I'm trying to drink a lot more herbal teas and, instead of um, black tea and tea with a lot of caffeine in it so chamomile is another really good herbal tea to try and I really like this brand of noodles from Aldi they're called um, Priado and they have lots of different cuts of noodles um, I think they're a little bit higher quality than um, the cheap macaroni noodles that you can get from different stores. Um, these are 100% semolina, I believe. Yeah, it says contains wheat, semolina. Um, it's rigatoni, specialty Italian bronze cup pasta, no artificial colors or flavors. So it may contain traces of egg, but again, that's from the processing plant. So um, if that bothers you, don't buy this, but um, I've already said how I feel about that. But um, yeah, good stuff. It's kind of a nice change of pace from just eating spaghetti all the time. Mm, I got really awesome cons this week. I think I'm going to saute these with a little bit of that organic sugar and make like a candied pecan salad with strawberries and spinach. Um, and I, I made that kind of salad before. It's really, really good. So yeah, I think that was like three something. I just wanted to update you guys. It was really easy to cut pineapple. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, you pretty much just want to make sure you, you cut down the sides and make sure no black spots are left on the surface of the pineapple. But it was really easy um, and, and it made a bunch of pineapple. So that lasted us all week and it was really, really delicious and we had it for desserts. I put it in a stir fry, like um, a sweet and sour stir fry. So that was really delicious. So. Definitely check out fresh pineapple um, and just cut your own. Don't get the pre-cut. It's a much better deal. I'm just really enjoying shopping as a vegan. It's really exciting and I try different stuff all the time. And um, An update on my weight. I know a lot of you on Facebook probably have already seen this um, if you have added me on there. Um, I will link my Facebook in the down bar if you want to add me as a friend on there. Maybe just leave a little note saying who, who you are and if, you're from my if you found me through my channel just so I know who you are. Um, but I am down, um, 28 pounds since January 1st. So I know I can see it in my face a little bit. Um, I can definitely see it in my stomach and my hips. So I, I definitely can see that I'm losing weight and it's like really reassuring. Um, I'm not really exercising that much. Like I know I should, and I, I really need to do that. So I'm not saying you should start a diet without exercising it and expect to lose a lot of weight. Um, I think I just radically shifted my eating habits so much that that's why I'm continuing to lose weight a lot. Um, and my metabolism is changing too, so I think that's really helping. 